guys, welcome to the channel. What I got behind me is the R Captain Cut 50 plasma coater and the R Captain Auto Darkening Welding Helmet. Today we're going to be reviewing it. Uh, what I want to show you is because they call it a true color for that welding helmet. And I have my little camera here. What I want to do is I want to put these on the back of the helmet so you'll be able to see what it looked like in real person, first person point of view. So these machines are super easy to set up. How fast? maybe seconds at the most a few minutes but let's do it right here real time so you can see here's your ground cable and here's your torch Now we gotta move to the back. We're gonna hook up our air hose. And that's it. We are ready to go. So if you're like me and you have to cut some metal stuff in your garage or whatever you're working on, you might have something like this. This is just a two grinders, one with a grinder wheel and one with a cutting wheel. And this is probably what you use to cut some metal. But man, it'll take so much longer and sometimes you cannot get around it. It's just awkward, uh, time consuming. So I'm just gonna show you with one little piece of a quarter inch flat bar of how long it will take to cut it with a grinder versus cutting it with a plasma cutter. now when I say you're gonna be saving time time is money check this out so that was pretty quick and that is very 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 clean now you're gonna notice a little bit of slag in the bottom which you can clean up with a flapping disc now this is the other side this is the side that we use with the cutting wheel and this is the side with the plasma coater
Now, if it takes that long to cut a quarter inch like this, imagine cutting a three quarter of an inch. So now let's check out the helmet. They have some really cool display. The designs are wild. Your view is very big, large, true color, four sensors, battery life of 5,000 hours. You can go from grind, cutting, and welding, delay, sensitivity, and the shape. You can pretty much adjust anything in it. Is what the inside look like but what does it look like when we will well let's put it on and see all right so there you go we have the camera taped to the helmet It's definitely gonna block a little bit of my visibility but I can still see a bit enough to weld and give you an idea of what these things look like with true color um, it's not gonna be perfect it's not gonna be like if you looking at it in real life but it's going to give you an idea of what they look like. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today. I just look at the video for the little camera inside the helmet and it doesn't even come close to what it looked like in real life. And I kind of knew it uh, because you put in a camera behind a, another lens, it's just, you throw the view a little bit different. But it'll give you a perspective, a little bit of a, the perspective of what you can see. Not even close, but <clears throat> it's what it is. Now the plasma cutter does save you a lot of time, as you could tell by the video. So, yes, I would recommend a plasma coater to anybody that do any kind of metal working. If you're gonna cut anything metal related, uh, grinder versus a plasma coater, plasma coater, 10 out of 10. Um, but that's all I have for you today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, our captain is having a sale, so you might wanna check them website right now. Uh, I think I'm going to take an advantage of that and I will see you around.